There's no doubt that the familiar bitten apple image has been an incredibly effective part of Apple's brand identity. But why are they named Apple in the first place? And how about these other giants? If you know anything about the history of Apple, you probably know that Steve Jobs was kind of a hippie. And around the time of Apple's formation, he visited a commune in Oregon where they grew, you guessed it, apples and maybe some other stuff. And it didn't hurt that Jobs was also on a fruitarian diet at the time. The name Apple also sounded unintimidating and fun, and Jobs liked it, since choosing a name that started with A meant they'd appeared near the front of the phone book. And remember, this is 1976 we're talking about. The other big A tech company, Amazon, chose its name for similar reasons, minus the fruit commune stuff. Jeff Bezos originally named his company Kadabra, as in Abracadabra, the Pokemon. But after someone misheard it as Cadaver and a friend suggested his alternative idea of relentless sounded too sinister, Bezos cracked open the dictionary and picked Amazon because it would appear at the top of many lists since it started with A. Bezos also liked the exotic sound of the name as well as the fact the massive Amazon River could imply that he had the world's largest selection of books. Okay. Google also got its name as a way to suggest a large scale project. The word Google had already existed and means the number you get when you take a one and write 100 zeros behind it. Larry Page and Sergey Brin liked the name since Google was originally only a search engine and they wanted their brand message to be that you could use Google to access huge amounts of information. They just changed the spelling to something they liked better. Speaking of liking something better, Facebook got its start because Mark Zuckerberg was frustrated that the administration at Harvard, where he was a student, didn't offer an online version of, well, a Facebook. Traditional Facebooks are just printed directories given out at colleges containing students' photos and a small amount of information to help everyone get to know each other. Facebook, the website, was originally a more detailed, digitized version of a paper Facebook that Zuck built because he didn't have any faith in the Harvard administration to do it themselves. And if you've seen the movie The Social Network, you might remember that it portrayed Napster founder Sean Parker, who later joined Zuck's team, as the person who convinced him to drop the from thefacebook.com's original name. Of course, we'd be very remiss if we didn't talk about the last member of the Big Five, and we'll do that right after we thank FreshBooks for sponsoring today's video. Whether you own a business or do freelance work, FreshBooks is designed to make accounting and invoicing easier for you. With the ability to integrate with over 100 different apps, there's always a simple way for you to connect with your team and clients. It's easy to start, and their award-winning support staff is always there to help. Take out some of that unnecessary stress in your life and start your first 30 days free with no credit card required. Go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki. The story of Microsoft's name might not seem that interesting. It's just derived from microcomputer and software. But did you know they actually wrote the operating system for the first successful home personal computer? It was called the Altair 8800 and Microsoft's OS for it called Altair Basic was successful enough for the fledgling company to make a name for itself back in the late 1970s as a software developer for smaller systems. Larger mainframes and mini computers were more common at the time, but after Microsoft struck a deal with IBM to have their DOS operating system power the original IBM PC, the rest was history, as they still led the way in microcomputer OSs thanks to Windows. But lest you think we're going to leave you with just the origin stories of the Big Five, we have a bonus for those of you that remember PC maker Gateway, which hit its zenith in 2001 after shipping PCs in those familiar cow patterned boxes all over the US. But why did they use a cow theme? in the first place. Well, Gateway was actually formed in a farmhouse in Sioux City, Iowa. And the cow box wasn't just a reference to farm life in the Midwest, but also that the founder's family had been in the cattle trade for generations. And at a time when there were lots of low cost PC manufacturers cranking out systems that suffered from quality and reliability issues, the homey farm motif made Gateway seem approachable and trustworthy, both essential bovine qualities. Hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. It's gonna change your life, okay? It's, 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 it's two easy steps. <laughs>